and uh, and so so then I uh, I I got my visa. I got my visa on the 13th of um, of July, and on the 14th of July I arrived in Manila. And then, do you like the Philippines? I said, no, I don't like the Philippines. I love the Philippines. Oh. <laughs> so it's, a, it's a little higher. Than, it's a little higher than that. So anyway, I am here now. After a lot of problems and a lot of difficulties and so on, I am still happy. At even when I reach a certain age and certain maturity and a certain experiences or otherwise I'm still here and I'm trying to do my best to continue to serve. Now there is one thing that I would like to share with you and it's very strange. It's very strange because you know what? I was trying to analyze to analyze myself. And just reading the life of Don Bosco reading the life of Don Bosco and looking at my, my own life, you know, it's very, very, call it coincidental, or is it in the, somehow, well, that, that's what happens. You cannot really call it coincidence because there's no coincidence. It's, it's God's plan, everything is there. But look, Johnny Bosco, his dad died when he was two. My dad died when I was six. Johnny's father's name was Francis. My father's name was Francis. There were three boys in the family of John, and John was the youngest. There were three boys in our family, and I am the youngest. <laughs> You remember in the life in the life of Don Bosco, he was about to become a Franciscan. He was he wanted to join and to have that dream. And I was almost a Franciscan, and I did not go. You know, just don't know how to call it. But I mean, we just try to draw certain comparisons. You know, the good good Lord, His ways are so different. <laughs> we don't understand them. And I'm sure, dear conference, in every life, every one of you, you have your own story to tell. And if you just try to analyze it, one day you might, because maybe you never talked deeply about this, but one day you will see how divine providence guides us. See, when I think I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes, that's how our life is. But you know, when I think of it, how much good, how much good in God's providence, how many, how many people I was able to reconcile, how many people I was able to influence and all this, you know, in our education, in our contacts and so on. It's a, it's a wonderful experience. And for this, we should be very grateful. You know, it's all, we give it, leave it in the hands of God. And we, we thank him. We thank him for the opportunity he gives us. One thing that makes me feel at this moment, just to close it, you know, makes me feel at this moment, you know, since I was thinking about the similarities of Don Bosco, I think the, the call or the push or the inspiration or the courage that I feel I should have is just that. I become more and more like the Bosco. We never become because he was a special chosen by God with a special mission, special qualities and so on. But still, every one of us, I think, we have been invited by God to be Don Bosco to our people around. I think that's what we are here for, and let us try really to revive within ourselves the desire we had when we were still in our novitiate or post-novitiate, when we were young, enthusiastic, to dedicate ourselves to the young especially, but also to so many people who need us. And God bless us. <laughs>